Good evening. You join me as reports are coming in of a major skirmish taking place within the BBC's very own newsroom. I'm joined by our business editor, Robert Peston. Robert, can you update me on what's been going on? Well, yes, Fiona, what I can tell you is that I never started it. It wasn't me. All this kicked off when I opened the door to my office and a bucket of water came down faster than the footsie on a bad day. We now go over to our political editor, Nick Robinson, to find out if he was the one what did it. Nick. Fiona, what I can tell you is that nobody is in a position at present to confirm or to deny the allegations. Sounds like a yes to me. Robert, I understand that shortly after the incident, a war of words broke out. Yes, Robinson said that I talked very, very quickly and then very slowly because my <laughs> mum was a broken tape recorder. Fiona, what I can tell you is a lot of words were said today, some of which by me, many of which by Peston, which could indeed have provoked that outburst. Not least an allegation that by rubbing my head, Peston can see into the future. Well, all evidence that we've seen so far would certainly point to that fact. And would it surprise you to know that Robinson also gave me a Chinese burn? Which was swiftly followed by Peston putting me in a headlock. Chilling stuff, Fiona. I don't want to hear any more. Do you realise in your little punch-up you knocked over Hugh Edwards' collection of porcelain owls? It was him. I don't care. I've had enough of the two of you fighting. If I hear any more, I'll send you both to appear on This Week with Andrew Neil without any supper. No, don't no, no, please to, don't, don't, don't do that. that. No. Yes! Now, both of you, go to apologise to Hugh Edwards, then maybe he'll stop crying and come out of the lavatory. <laughs>